Today we're back in the tour van with a new hybrid from Mizuno for 2023. It is the STZ230. Taylor is with us today to do some testing, hit some shots, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know about this hybrid. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you give this video a like, and then you tell us in the comments what you think of the STZ230 hybrid. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, joined by Taylor Ledwine, an online master club fitter here at Second Swing. We are in the tour van, STZ230 hybrid from Mizuno. Mm -hmm. uh, new addition here, new model for 2023. Um, it looks kind of in ways different than the drivers and the fairways, but um, regardless, I think there's a lot to be excited about here. Yeah, um, compared to the driver and the fairways, it's just got like that solid head, um, yep. nice shiny black, mm -hmm. but it looks looks really nice yeah looks very sleek um i'm excited to hit it because based off the other two things that we've hit got really yep. good numbers so. yeah yeah we've tested the drivers and the fairway woods got mm -hmm. really good performance out of both um and i i'm already seeing uh kind of what you're pointing out about the look that is a kind of a pretty sleek look for yeah. a hybrid a lot of times you see that thing kind of become fairway wood like mm -hmm. um but you're really not seeing that at all with the st230 here um, and then we should also mention you see this kind of blue stripe on the sole that is the cortex chamber um, basically taking away uh, a, a task, right, for the face to produce that energy and instead helping the soul flex to allow for more energy transfer at impact. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of ball speed there, a lot of power generated from this club. And then we also got to talk about the lofts. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, we talk about hybrids and the nice thing about the ST230s um, is that there are a wide range of lofts available because so many golfers are out there and need a need a hybrid at different spots of the bag yep. and so um the stz 230s there's four available at 16 19 22 and 25 degrees so that's a two three four and five hybrid yeah um but in addition to that is the adjustability on the hosel mm -hmm. four degrees of loft can be you know adjusted either way so two up or two down so you really have a range from about 14 to 27 degrees of loft here that you can get one of these hybrids in the bag and probably two or even three that you could have in the bag. So a lot to like in that aspect. I'm sure you're excited about that as a fitter. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, sometimes people don't quite fit in their gapping, just like the stock mm -hmm. degrees that hybrids right. are coming in. Um, so to have this option, you know, we're, we're saying, you know, get it, loft it one or the option to go low. Yep. Um, and that's going to fit your gapping really nice. So it's really good to have that option to be able to Tell golfers, yes, you're getting this, but mm -hmm. you can also change the loft to make it fit that gap. Right, right. And that's that's ultimately what, uh, at this part of the bag, you're starting to get away from, all right, I just want distance, I want distance. Mm -hmm. Instead, now you're kind of trying to hit a number. Yep. And I think that's where, especially the adjustability piece can help. And then um, having multiple in the bag as well, that might be an option for a lot of golfers out there, is having multiple of these hybrids in the bag. Mm -hmm maybe a three hybrid and a five hybrid, for example, to get the gapping right. So yeah. for today's purposes, we've got a three hybrid at 19 degrees. However, we have an adjustment made. So um, Taylor, we moved this to uh, 21 degrees mm -hmm. and we're going to see how that goes for you. Cause I know you have a couple of uh, fairy woods in the bag, but yeah. so we'll see how this plays. But um, what do you think we're gonna see based on, cause we've tested the drivers, we've mm -hmm. tested the fairy woods. What do you think we're gonna see now that we've got the hybrid? Uh, what I think we're going to see is some nice, uh, you know, kind of hot off the face when yep. you're hitting it in the center. It's what we kind of saw both the previous ones. Mm -hmm. um, I'm interested to see those shots that qu not quite in the center right. of the club to kind of see the forgiveness that you get there and kind of what those numbers are as right. well. Right, yeah. Always those things we're looking at, the spin, the launch, and then especially the miss hit performance as well. So um, you ready to hit some shots here? I'm ready. Oh yeah. So, so Taylor, we got yeah. this hybrid again is at 21 degrees aloft. Mm -hmm. um, talk to us about what you would maybe expect from a club of this loft of kind of, you know, a hybrid in the bag at this, you know, what would you expect distance wise, maybe mm -hmm. spin wise, et cetera, from that club? Um, so spin wise, kind of right about where it's at. Yeah. Um, and then distance usually when I'm hitting my four hybrid, which is my 21 degree in my bag. Okay. I'm probably hitting it from about 190, 195. Okay. So, okay. I mean, that's a little bit further, but still pretty close to what I'd expect to see out sure. of it. Sure, sure. A little extra speed on that one, it looked like. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Turn that one over a little right. bit more, but that one was more right off kind of that sweet spot right, on the yeah, face. Yeah, that was so, one of those where you, you made contact and you're like, oh boy, this, yeah. is, this is launched. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I mean, the feel off the face right on the center feels yeah. really nice, yeah. really crisp off it. That was a good ball there. I mean, yeah. So that I mean, see, it's it's going left, and we should note the face angle is made upright by mm -hmm. adjusting it up in loft. So that's going to have a bit of a left bias. Yeah. But, um, talk to me about that look because we did we did mention that it seems like it's the compact mm -hmm. shape for a hybrid. Is that kind of confirmed when you look down at this one? Yeah, when it's down next to the ball, it's um, you know compared to my hybrids, it is a little bit more compact. Okay. I like the sleekness of the crown here with that nice shiny black on it. Um, so it's really, really nice mm -hmm. to look down at. It's got good okay. feel to it too. Ooh, that one was hit well. Yep. Wow. That was mushed. Yeah, that was one, that one compared to the one before. The one before I definitely could tell I didn't mm -hmm. quite hit it off the center of the face. So that's where I lost a little bit kind of, you know, of the right to the left. Yeah. But. And then, I mean, I think your your shot shape is kind of showing up here, though. I mean, you're mm -hmm. playing that draw. Um, might be exaggerated to an effect with that face angle switch. Yeah. But I will say, you did mention the distance that you typically play your 21-degree mm -hmm. hybrid at. And I'm seeing the numbers that this is generating right now. And I'm seeing a little bit more distance out of this club. Yeah, which is coming from, you know, maybe a little bit more forgiveness in that face yeah. than what I'm currently playing. And then, you know, that one we saw hit right off the center is going a little bit further. Oh, yeah. So, that one was a little juicy. Maybe. Yeah. Man, there's another one. Yeah. The spin dropped a little bit there. Something mm -hmm. to probably mention as well. But let's see what we got here. We got the five swings, and we've got some pretty consistent numbers across the board. I think spin is interesting because it did jump a little bit and yeah. kind of drop a little bit. Um, so that's probably worth mentioning, but I think this number is probably a solid number to be at. Mm -hmm. Maybe want it closer to 4,000 potentially with the hybrid. Yeah. Um, but your ball speed is very consistent. I mean, we're talking about 1.9 on the deviation there. Mm -hmm. As low as 124, then 130, and those last three were almost all the same. Um, we talked about the carry at 190 and the total at 212. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty a little bit, a little bit higher than what I'm hitting mine now. Right. So. Right, you definitely gained some distance there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we see, so here's kind of the interesting thing, right? So it's, it's, it's weird because your smash factor on these ones was all in the one four, high one fours. This is yeah. sort of your miss hit, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, but carry wise, if we go to carry, didn't really lose a ton. No. I mean, this one here is 187. You lost eight yards with kind of your quote unquote miss. Mm -hmm. Not that bad. No, that's think, where that's nice to have that little bit more forgiveness. Yeah. Um, which with only having one line of the hybrids like Mizuno does, that yeah. is nice to kind of incorporate all in one. Like I was able right. to get the shot shaping if I'm looking for that yeah. going to the left, um, but also a miss hit. I'm not from the ones I hit off the center. Yes, I'm losing distance, but you know, the ones like I'm typically going to hit, yeah, I'm not yeah. losing a huge amount there. Right. And I think that's something I think we've, we mentioned it too in, talking with about the fairwoods and the, mm -hmm. and the drivers like you know golfers miss hit shots and i think there's a misconception out there sometimes among golfers where you know for example with driver they might i know what happens in our fitters talk about it all the time they come in here mm -hmm. oh i hit my driver 280 yards well you will hit one or two drives per round 280 yards but yeah. then you hit others 250 you mm -hmm. know and with hybrid in this instance it might be, you know, a, a player of looking for a hybrid might be, you know, 230 is what they think it is, but really they are just 210. And so yeah. the, the, trying to keep that number consistent is a challenge that all these manufacturers are trying to put together here is mm -hmm. hit the ball somewhat solid. It should be a similar number to when they hit it solid. And I think we see that with this hybrid and that map. It really wasn't a ton of separation between those shots because as we bring it up again here, um, these ones here, right? You're in the mid 180s. Yep. You lost eight yards or so when when you're kind of miss hit it out to the right mm -hmm. um, with the carry probably not going to harm you too much right right if i'm hitting my hybrids i mean yes it's into greens um most likely sometimes you're laying up with it uh but typically if i'm hitting it like that into a green and i'm i mean what's eight yards 
21 mm -hmm. feet. If I'm 21 feet short of the flag, I'm still happy with it with the distance that I'm hitting this hybrid from, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, I mean, you, you might miss it short and go into a greenside bunker. Right. Um, that's kind of the, almost the worst case scenario mm -hmm. there. Otherwise you're short of the green, you're chipping it to get up and down and something like that. Um, I think the, the concern could be when it goes long yep. too far. And I think the, there was, you know, there's a fair concern on like these two up here, but I will say we also, in your, in your case, we wouldn't have the face turned face angle with like something you actually fit yourself into. Yeah. You would probably go down to like say the five hybrid or four hybrid and mm -hmm. then play that loft and not have this face angle left kind of bias going on and might eliminate those. But I think what we see here for sure is some pretty explosive ball speed and yep. distance because I think you mentioned the numbers that you're expecting out of it and this kind of surpassed that in terms of carry and total. Mm -hmm. So the player looking for distance in a hybrid is probably going to get it out of this club. Yeah, I mean, the distance that I was getting with even the ones, not the two that I hit in like the hot spot, yeah. are still going, you know, a little bit further than what I'm hitting my current hybrid. Yeah. So if you're looking for a little bit more distance, even on ones that it's not quite hitting that exact hot spot, you're still seeing that out of this hybrid. Right, right. So I think, I mean, we touched on kind of all, a lot of the key factors here. Mm -hmm. um, some pretty good stuff from the STZ 230 hybrid. Yeah. We mentioned all the different lofts. I mean, players are going to be able to really take advantage of the benefits here. So I think really good testing here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll kind of discuss who it's for here in this final segment, but um, I think a lot of players will benefit from it. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, Taylor, testing completes STZ 230 hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked a little bit about the performance in your test. Um, kind of the miss hit wasn't penalized as much mm -hmm. as maybe other hybrids would. So I think that's the encouraging thing. We also saw a ton of distance that you gained compared to kind of what you expected. So yeah. in that in that way, it kind of exceeded your expectations. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's a great hybrid, honestly. Yeah. You know, like with the fairway wood, you're getting a lot of different things kind of yeah. out of one club. Whereas, you know, sometimes there's different lines that, right. you know, mm -hmm. depends on what you're looking for. But I think with this one, you're kind of getting a variety of things. Right. I think it, that's what we talked about. When we kind of talk about who the club is for and mm -hmm. with having only one STZ 230 or STZ 230 hybrid, the club kind of like the fairy wood, like we mentioned, it needs to do a lot of things. And I think we saw your ability to draw and work the ball. Mm -hmm. We saw the explosive distance and the forgiveness there. So it seems like a versatile club. It seems like it will benefit a lot of players. Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, you know, we were talking, it's got that compact head. So, um, mm -hmm. someone who's looking for a more players club right. would enjoy it. And it's got that workability, but, uh, you know, someone who's just looking for a hybrid that's got some forgiveness. Yep. It's also got that, which we saw in the numbers. And it's also for a wide variety of players with the loft sleeve. I mean, right. mm -hmm. with the wide, wide variety of lofts, yeah. it's not just these four clubs, mm -hmm. you know, you can really make it what you want to out of a hybrid. Right, and I think that's, especially like the last point is, or the last kind of type of player is the tinkerer that mm -hmm. does want to adjust as many clubs in their bag as possible and have right. that option before the round. Hey, I'm I'm on the range today and I'm, whatever reason I'm pushing the ball. Well, mm -hmm. let's, let's make that up fly angle more upright and we'll fix that for you. I mean, it's things yeah. like that, that there are players out there that do that and having a, the adjustable sleeve here, it can be a big help for those players or somebody that just wants to know they're dialed in with a fitter mm -hmm. and, you can't really do that with a lot of hybrids out there. This is one of them that you can. So yeah. a big benefit there. And um, I think overall, uh, you, does Taylor Ledwine give it the stamp of approval here? Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I liked the distance I was getting out of it a little bit more than my current hybrids. Mm -hmm. um, the workability is great. You know, we were able to adjust it to the degree that I needed. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I would, I'd recommend it to people who are looking for a hybrid, but want a wide variety of things out of it. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in a Mizuno STZ 230 hybrid, you know what to do. That is a schedule you're fitting at Second Swing, whether it's over the phone with someone like Taylor or here in the store. We'll get you dialed in and bridging that gap from the irons to fairy woods properly with a hybrid that is right for you. So, Taylor, thanks for joining, hitting the shots, giving all the feedback. Mm -hmm. um, again, really exciting new addition here from Mizuno. Yeah, I'm excited to see how the new line does.